everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all I'm excited today to talk about the new Dove body care body washes and their new pre-cleanse shower butters now I did a haul video and if you haven't seen it check it out i'll have it linked above and i was like i'm only going to get um two of these body washes because you know it's just it's just too much and i have so much and blah 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 but then this is my downfall y'all i used two of them i was really impressed and then i was like well just go ahead and and get them all and review the whole line so that, that's what happens to me, okay? So I have the whole line here, and I'm just gonna go, I don't even know what, I'll save the two that have the the uh, pre-cleansed body butter for last. So let us let me start with this one. I'll go from the ones I had the least, you know, interest in. So this is the Dove Body Love Sun Rehydrate Vitamin E Serum Body Cleanser. So this is one, it, it, it doesn't say, you know, that you can only use it after the sun or whatnot, but it does say it's a sun rehydrate for sun exposed skin, rehydrates and refreshes sun kissed skin in just one shower for a radiant glow. And that it has the vitamin E serum and aloe extract that replenishes vital hydration to strengthen skin's moisture barrier for a healthy glow. And it's sulfate free, paraben free, and it says that it is uh, has plant-based cleansers, is pH balanced and as gentle as water. So, you know, for me, let's see how it smells first, y'all. It's been a minute since I've used this one. I just can't remember how it smells off the bat. Okay, so this to me smells like a powdery citrus. And I kind of thought it would smell like a citrus, have a citrusy scent because it's the sun, the sun one. But yeah, it has a nice, fresh, yeah, very citrusy. Yeah, it's nice. It's not my favorite scent, but let me tell you how it feels. Um, let me see if you can see the consistency. So if you can see that, I hope I'm like in the camera. It's like lotion-y and then I spill on the side. So hold on, let me try to get that. It's It's got a lotion-y quality to it. And that does feel really nice. But let me tell y'all, yeah, it's got a nice citrusy scent. When I, and one thing that annoys me, I, it was hard for me to get these things open. <laughs> these shower gels open. But that's neither here nor there. So it does have a nice lotion-y consistency. Now I use, like I said, I use quite a bit of shower gel. So in the shower, I'm putting a lot of this on my loofah. And I also wanna mention these are, even though sometimes shower gels shaped like this, they're hard to hold with one hand and get, get it to pump out. These are light enough that that's no issue. So that's, that's one thing I look for, because I don't want no heavy shower gel or something that's hard to get use in the shower so when i put this on my loofah i was like okay the the lotion consistency this is gonna be great it's gonna feel good i it's so good i like the citrusy scent you know it's a nice you know picker upper in the morning so i'm using it and it felt like you know which with body washes you know you put it on you just go and it, it can just feel good this one felt like it wasn't going just as smoothly over my Skin. I don't know if maybe I use too much because the consistency is kind of thick, lotiony. But yeah, I noticed it was kind of sticky a little bit to me. I didn't love the feeling of it. But I will say after I rinsed it off, I did feel like it was it was moisturizing, and I felt like it could be like if you're 
if your skin was like dry and irritated, I think this would be wonderful. I do. Like after the sun, I think it would feel healing, calming. I really, really do. So even though I didn't love the way it felt as I was using it, I, I could see a difference when I rinsed it off. And I will say, with these body washes, I've noticed, for most of them, it's like that the, the, the moisturization that I got, it stayed with me after the shower because I didn't use, did I use my in-shower moisturizer for all these? No, I didn't because I was trying out this. So I didn't use my um, wet skin moisturizer with using these and I did feel like my skin to get that tight, annoying, uncomfortable feeling. Like if you haven't seen my uh, review on the Necessaire line, I will link that above, check it out. That shower gel did that to me. And that's a 20 plus dollar shower gel. And these are, I think these are $6.97, so $7. And I didn't feel that. I didn't feel like, oh, let me get the lotion. Let me get the lotion. I didn't feel like that. I can take my time, do my, you know, my face skincare like I normally do. And then I go on with my body care uh, routine. So I do like it. I'm glad I have it. It's not a love, but I will say that if you have really dry skin, whether you're in the sun or not, I can see this spilling good. If I've been out and about, you know, I want to take a shower, it's been hot, you know, you, sometimes your skin can feel a little irritated, you've been out in the sun. I can see this helping, but just as a good overall, very hydrating, replenishing body wash, I think it's good for that, whether you're in the sun or not. So it is a good one. It's not my favorite, but it is good. Okay, the next one that I really, it wasn't on my radar to get, this is the Dove Radiance Renew Body Cleanser Vitamin C Serum Plus Exfoliating Minerals. Okay, so this says that this is Radiance Renew for dull, uneven skin. It hydrates and illuminates for more radiant skin. And the Vitamin C Serum and Exfoliating Minerals brightens and smooths skin and gently buffs away dead skin. So this has no sulfates, parabens, and um, the only difference that it has on, on this one was saying, uh, talking about the body wash, is that this says that it is microbiome gentle. I hope I said that right. So let's see how this one smells. This is a fresh floral scent, very floral. If you can see here, it does have that lotion-y consistency. You can see the little pink micro exfoliants in there. So it's got the same consistency almost as this, almost. So with this one, I really wasn't blown away. It was just a nice, good exfoliating, you know, creamy exfoliating body wash. You know, I've used, I have body washes like this now. They really don't exfoliate, but it's just a little bit. You might feel just a little exfoliation. It's nice. You know, I just, it, it didn't blow my mind. Not this one. I'm not in love with the scent. Like I said, it's very floral. I can see me using this, especially with spring approaching, using this one more so. And I, I do believe that it, it's, it's hydrating. Like th these are hydrating. This is hydrating, brighten and smooth. I can see consistently using this. I, I, I think you would see a difference because I'm gonna get into why I say that later on in the video. I haven't used this one enough to say, oh my goodness, yes, it's doing all that. But like I said, I take care of my skin. So I tend to notice if something doesn't if it leaves my skin dull, if it leaves my skin, you know, a certain kind of way, because I really try to take care of my skin. This was moisturizing. It, you do get a very light, slight exfoliation. If you want a nice floral scent, this is like, this is a strong scent. You, you get that floral scent. And I do believe over time that it will do what it says, it, it, you know, it does, that it will brighten your skin and help illuminate your skin. 
I, I do believe it would do that on a consistent basis because Dove doesn't usually let me down, okay? So this is the one of the first ones I purchased, and this is the Acne Clear Body Cleanser with Salicylic Acid and Bamboo Extract. So this is the green one. This says that it, um, well, it's the same as the rest of them, and it just says mild cleansers. And you know, cause this one has acne, this has 1% salicylic acid in it, and you can use it every day, cause that's what I was worried about. Like, can I use this every day if I wanted to? So with this one, let's smell it. This is spa, uh, plant-based scent. It's got a little freshness to it, but yeah, think spa, plant-based. I think I said in that video, green, this is green, it smells green. Okay, so with this one, I can't tell you, oh yes, it clears up that acne just like that. I can't tell you that because I don't think a body wash is just gonna clear up acne. But I will say that I have this, I've been having this one bump on my chest the edges will not leave. It keeps shrinking and shrinking, but it just won't go away. Like, I don't know what kind of stress, hormonal, you know, monthly acne I've been getting around here and in certain part. Right after I said, oh, I don't get body acne, it's like, boo-boo, <laughs> yes, you do. Because anytime I say something that I don't get that I'm proud of, I start getting it. I don't know. I should go around saying, I don't, I'll never become a millionaire. I should just go around keep saying that and see if I become one. <laughs> because that's what happens in my life. But anywho, I felt like that it did help it continue to go down some. I really did. The bump on my chest. Then I had another one trying to come. And I noticed that it's just, it's not getting there. Because I think this is helping like, <laughs> stay away, stay away. So I like this. Um, it wouldn't be one that I would be like, oh, I want to use it all the time. Uh, it's just wonderful scent. This is has more of a gel consistency. I don't remember if I showed y'all. So this one has more of a gel consistency as opposed to the cream lotion-y consistency that the other two I have shown you. But I like this one. I do think if you suffer from body acne, Dove is the way to go for a good shower gel that doesn't strip you. I was worried that this would not be moisturizing. It's not as moisturizing as these others I'm going to talk about. It's not. But it doesn't strip my skin. It didn't make my skin have that tight, annoying feeling after I got out of the shower either. So if you suffer from body acne and you just, you know, it can't hurt. That's how I view it. It can't hurt. So <laughs> it's $7.00. Is nice packaging. It has a, you know, it's not my favorite scent either, but it's not a bad fragrance. Why not? And like I said, I do think I've noticed a difference. I'm, it's, it's not, you know, it's not gone still, but I've been putting some stuff on that and it just won't leave. But I do notice that it, it's, it's helping. So, yeah, I plan to probably use this at night. Because I, I think of this more as a treatment body wash. Or if I know I'm getting to that time of the month or something, then I might use it, you know, day and night. You know, but I, I'm glad I have it in my collection. And I do think it's worth checking out. Okay, so the other one. No, this is the one I bought the first time. So this is the Age Embrace Peptide Serum Plus Glycerin body wash the purple one and so this says age embrace for maturing skin helps reduce roughness and visibly rejuvenates for more supple skin uh peptide serum plus pure glycerin encourages more supple firm looking skin locks in moisture for a more hydrated skin barrier and it says that this is as, as gentle as water so this has the same consistency as the others, that lotiony, creamy consistency. This has a very soft, pretty, floral, like a milky, floral, soapy scent that I really do enjoy. I do really enjoy the way this smells. So this blew my mind, okay? 
if you're talking about look a luxurious feeling body wash that you can get for seven dollars this blew my mind i put it on my loofah it just glided over my skin like silk it felt wonderful as i was cleansing myself it felt wonderful as i felt like i was in those commercials you know and they put it on they rinse it off and your skin looks flawless and shiny in the camera that's how i felt with this this i love it i mean the moisturization was a, a plus the scent i loved it i love the way it felt going on i love love the way it felt you know rinsing it off out of the shower the scent lingered a little bit on my skin i didn't get the tight feeling love it i absolutely love this body wash no regrets at all getting this one love it so the last body wash in the line from dove with their you know new body love and the body love is i think a play on their lotions because the lotions are called the body love lotions from dove this is the moisture boost hyaluronic serum plus moringa oil the blue one so this is a moisture boost for dry dehydrated skin Boost skin's moisture and fortifies skin barrier for 24-hour softness. It says that the hyaluronic acid plus moringa oil, I, hope I'm, I don't think I'm saying that right, but we're going to go with it, drenches skin in a surge of ultra-moisture, rejuvenates the skin barriers, moisture retention. So this is just, and the reason why in that video, my haul video, I said I was not going to get this one is because I just bought the, uh, the Dove Moisture that's in, you know, the packaging like this because I hadn't had it in so long and I couldn't remember if I ever had it. So that's why I decided to get it. But if you watch that video, you'll know why I decided to get this one. This has that lotiony consistency like all of them do except for the acne body wash. And the only difference in the radiance is the little micro exfoliants, but it's creamy, you know, lotiony too. So this smells like uh, the Dove Bar Soap. A little sweeter it does that first when I use this I was like it doesn't smell like I thought it was gonna smell cuz I wanted it to smell like this but now that I'm smelling it now maybe I was in a hurry that day it does smell like that but still I think that has a slight edge so it, it smells like the original Dove bar soap very clean but it has like a clean sweet tart candy scent so I do like the way this smells now this one was kind of underwhelming to me. And I think it's when I was in the shower, I didn't get the sweet tart candy fresh scent that I can pick up now. So I was I was like, oh, cause that's why, I, that's why I purchased it. This is moisturizing. Um, it was nice. I, it didn't leave a big impression on me. It was nice, it's moisturizing, it smells good. I didn't get the tight feeling. Um, when I exited the shower, it's a good body wash. That's what, it's good. It's it's not one that I was like, oh my goodness. It just wasn't there for me. But I do think if you have, it, Dove is just good. It's just a good brand for body care. Especially like soap and shower and body washes. They're just good. So I can't see someone I really wouldn't think this would dry someone's skin out, but hey, some people have said Dove dries their skin out. So, but this is moisturizing, but it didn't give me that same wonderful, glorious experience as this age embrace. It just didn't, but it's good. So now what we have all been waiting for, and I have to shout out Miss Joanna again in this video because I didn't know about the, because I've been trying to, I don't be getting on Instagram, trying to see what's new, trying to see what's coming out, even though I have this channel, because I be trying to save my money, honey. I be trying to save my money because I feel like I have enough to do different videos and things and then sprinkle in some new. But this just intrigued me so much when she shared this with me. And this is the Dove Body Love Moisture Boost Pre-Cleanse Shower Butter. And this is the hyaluronic um, serum that matches this body wash. Okay, so here is this. 
So the instructions for this to use it are you double down on moisture with this silky butter, massage over wet skin for a pre-cleanse boost of hydration before using the Body Love Serum Infused Body Cleanser. Okay, so I didn't have this one at first, but I did end up using them together. Now this, oh my goodness, it smells divine. So let me show you how it looks. So it does look like, like a body butter. So I, at first, I remember in that video, I was like, what the heck? Why did Dove switch it up and I just make this, uh, you know, an in-shower body butter? Why does it have to be a pre-cleanse? And I was thinking, this is not going to do nothing. That's what I was thinking. I had zero hope that this was going to work as a pre-cleanse. Honey, shunny ain't her words, okay? I put this all over my body and I use a lot of products. I put it all over, rubbed it in. And then I lightly rinsed it off and I said, whoo, I was in the shower going, okay, dog, fire them shots telling me to shut up. Okay. This felt great. Okay. I could feel my skin was moisturized. It was soft. I said, okay. So then I went in with one of the, the shower gels I had because I could, I think I went in with this one because I didn't have the moisture boost and then I use them together. But y'all, fire, okay, fire. I didn't even, I, I, even if I didn't want to use my wet skin moisturizer because I, was, I knew I wanted to review these products, I don't feel like I would need it because my skin felt moisturized from using the, the, the butter and then going in with because these body washes are very moisturizing. So I felt wonderful. So I was, because I said in the haul video, if I didn't feel like I saw a difference, I was just going to start using this like I do the in-shower body lotions as a last step. But the pre-cleanse threw me off because I was like, does it have like cleansing agents in it? And I don't know. So I still might try it just to see how it works doing that. I should have done that. But it's not advertised to use it that way. But, you know, I might give it a try and then you'll see in an empties video what I think about it. But I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so this is the Age Embrace um, Pre-Cleanse Body Butter. Same thing. It just has this fragrance and it says that you need to use it. Well, it just says with a serum infused body butter. So, I guess all body wash. So, I guess all these are serum infused. Oh, my goodness. So, that looks just like the other one like you know what it looks like to me it looks like a deep conditioner that's what i get from it instead of like a body butter i get like it looks like a deep conditioner so this one to me smells the best it smells the best this smells good but it doesn't smell as good as the body wash because i thought neither one of these to me smelled just alike this I can tell that this is from this line, but this smells better than the body wash. In this, they you can tell they're from the same line and they smell alike, but the body wash smells better than the butter. Yeah, this one is just not as strong as this. So y'all, let me tell you, I put this on same way, put it on in the shower, you know, uh, before I did anything, I got in the shower, I washed my face, and I didn't exfoliate or anything. I just wanted to use these uh, pre-cleansed body butters to see what the difference would be. So I used this one, loved it, okay? Loved it. Then I, and I used this at night. I went in with this butter wash. Y'all, tell me I wasn't silky smooth, okay? <sighs> so good, so, 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 so good. I, this, I love this. Okay. Between the moisture body butters, they both work wonderfully. But it's something about this age embrace. I don't know what to put in there. And you don't have to have aging skin to want this because I, you know, you just, it's just, it's a good, luxurious experience and, and feeling with these products under 10 bucks. Okay? You can't go wrong with that.
So one thing I wanted to mention before I rank all of these, when I saw this one, another reason why I was like, I'm not, I wasn't thinking about getting any of these body washes until I saw the pre cleanse body butter because they reminded me of the Olay body washes, which I love. Okay. So I said, let me go through my collection and pick some that I think are comparable with the dove so when i think of the sun rehydrate since this is kind of like a treatment for your skin i thought of the eczema prone soothing body wash this olay one beats this hands down to me hands down i think the olay is a dollar more expensive than the dove but yeah this is my favorite from olay anyway from this line in which i love them all so I feel like that Dove, this was Dove's answer, these body washes to the Olay Luxurious Body Wash line. That, that's, what, that's the first thing I thought. The, this is Dove's answer to Olay. So these two, I don't have ones that say the exact same thing. So I only chose a couple because I wanted to bring that out. That, you know, if you love the Olay ones, you'll probably love the Dove ones because this is Dove's response to the Olay brand of these body washes. But this beat the, the sun. So the other one I pulled was the Hyaluronic Acid to go with the Hyaluronic Serum, this one. So it's been a minute since I've used this. Let me smell it and then I will remember what I think. <sighs> yeah. I would say these are on the same level. I think I would prefer the Olay a little bit more. A little bit more than this Dove Moisture Boost. But they're still, they're both wonderful. So my point in showing you these, if you have the Olay line, for the most part, you don't need Dove. You don't need Dove. Now I'll tell you the ones you do need. Olay has a body, the only reason why I didn't pool one is because they didn't have one that said vitamin C, but they have two or three, you know, micro exfoliating body washes in the Olay line. So if you have that, you don't need this one because it's, you know, it's nothing special. Moisturization is, you know, if you have Olay, you don't need the Dove one. Now Olay doesn't have acne. So to me, this is a standout one. Love it. You know, I still say you would need that one even if you have some of the Olay body washes. This Age Embrace, I almost pulled the retinol version of this because I think retinol is supposed to help with aging. I prefer Dove over that retinol. And I do have the um, body conditioner that we're going to talk about. So, yeah, I this, this is a bad boy right here. This is, I, I love that one. Now... This pre, what is this? Pre-cleanse shower butter to me was Dove's answer of Olay's body conditioner, the um, Nivea in-shower lotion, the Jergens in-shower lotion, because Dove didn't have anything like that. So these were their answers to those products. Curel, wet skin moisturizer, it's all within that same, you know, lane. So what I will say, it depends on your preference. Do you want to do this first and then, because I was like, this is not going to keep me moisturized after I use all my soap stuff, but it did. It did. I, I noticed a difference. So it's preference. Do you want to go first or do you want to go use something like this first or do you want to use it as your final step? To me, it's either way. Um, I will say just for Dove's ingenuity alone, because I, cause I said in, in my haul video, why are they, why are they trying to act like they being different and you know, you use this first and I gonna do nothing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So I say Dove won the round with the conditioners. Now the wet skin moisturizers. I have used this after I, you know, you know, I plan to still use my wet skin moisturizers when I 
use these products because I love for my skin to feel super hydrated and look super glowy, have that nice sheen. So I don't mind doubling up on, on products, but to me, you that's a different category, but you don't have to use your wet skin moisturizer when using this if you don't want to. So I think Dove did a great job. I mean, I think people might be skeptical like I was because I was hating. But yeah, I think that they answered. I think they answered back, especially with these pre-cleanse um, shower butters. I, I hope they come out with more. I hope they come out with more. So now we're going, so let me say, that's not gonna stop me from purchasing the body conditioners because I'm a product junkie. And to me, they work a, mm, they work about the same. I would say Dove maybe is a little bit more moisturizing than some of these. Not this one, because this one's very moisturizing. The Retinol Rinse Off Body Conditioner. But some of them, Dove might have the slight edge. But it's not like I'm going to be putting down my wet skin moisturizers, my in-shower lotions. Because to me, they're, they're all fun. They all kind of smell different. You can get different you know, it really is about the fragrance and the, the level of moisturization you need. And they all give a little something different. So I don't think it's going to stop people. It's not going to stop me from purchasing all the rest of them. But Dove, they did their thing, okay? So now let's rank all of these shower gels. There are five in this new collection. So coming in at number five, I'm going to say it's the Radiance Renew because it was nothing special. Um, the scent was nothing special. It felt good. It was just a nice body wash. You know, it's just a good old nice body wash, but it was nothing that I haven't used or that I don't have in my collection right now. I was torn between these two for, num for spot number four, but I'm telling you why I'm gonna put the Moisture Boost in number four, because the same way as the Radiance Renew didn't blow my mind. This didn't either. I've I've had great moisturizing body washes that smell good. That's, that's a nice experience before. So it wasn't anything special. Now I was tempted to put Sun Hydrate at number four instead of number three. It is number three because of the way it felt on my skin. But like I said, I think I used too much and I can really see this that if my skin is uh, irritated or is feeling really dry or you know something like that, I can see this really soothing me and really soothing people's skin who have that issue. So that's why it, it made it to number three even though I didn't like the way it felt on my skin. Not while I was using it because it get a little tacky, a little bit. But like I said, it felt, my skin felt good after, you know, rinsing it off and using it. So it's, it's the number three spot. Number two is going to be the Acne Clear. I do believe that this will help. I don't think it's going to, you know, stop your acne. But I do feel like if you use it consistently, that it will, you know, help prevent some breakouts. And it will help, you know cure the ones you have. I do think it's good to have in your rotation if you have body acne, you know, I think it's a great product to, to have in your arsenal. So number one, y'all, was there any doubt? This is the Age Embrace. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. I love the way it, I, purple is my favorite color. <laughs> I just love this. So luxurious. And I'm temp, you know, this is my favorite from Olay. And I'm tempted to say out of all of these body washes in this packaging, because like I said, I think this was Dove's answer to Olay's line. And this is my favorite from Olay. I think this is my favorite out of all of them, period. And that's about 20 body washes, I think. Because this Olay line, well, almost 20. I know it's over 10. This is my favorite. Love it. Love it. It is so good. So good. Now... To me, these um, pre-cleanse shower butters, I love them both equally. I will say I like this scent better. I like this one better in, in the butter, but I like this one better 
in the in the body wash it's it's crazy to me how that can happen so i would have to say coming in at number two for the body butter the pre-clean shower butter is the age embrace and then coming in at number one is the moisture boost pre-clean shower butter and the hyaluronic serum this is number one in the shower butters so y'all i like i said these shower butter if if you don't get anything i've talked about these are the two and these are the two i would highly recommend i would recommend the age embrace body cleanser and the moisture boost hyaluronic serum pre-cleanse shower butter now if you want them to match i love this one just as much it works just the same i just like the way this one smells more so i would but these two are what i would recommend for you and the acne so yeah let me hold it up <laughs> These are the ones that I would say is worth spending your money. Worth spending your money on um, because they're just fire. They're so, so, so good. So good. So, y'all, let me, let me tell you. Let me, let me point this. Let me say this. I had someone in the comments. She was recommending um, another shower gel, another body wash from Olay because Olay has come out with a new line like with art, with this, uh, a new line and like, not a new line, but new scents that they've brought out. So let me, let me tell you, let me ask you. This is what I decided, because I almost was like, should I review those? But I have a lot of shower gel and body wash. And it takes, I don't know how some people go through body wash like that. I don't. That seems to be something I go through faster than I used to, but I, it's still not something I run through. So, this is how I'm going to do this. If you all want me to review the new Olay body washes, this video is going to have to get to 500 likes because I have so much body wash. I have, you know, I just, I don't need to go get any more. And none of the fragrances, like some I was interested in, but it didn't make me say, let me get it right now. It just didn't do it for me yet because I have so much. So that's going to be my deal. Because some of these review videos I do when it comes to hygiene products like this, they might, they might not do as well as, you know, some of my other videos. So I'm not going to go and spend my money on a bunch of body wash if you're not gonna watch the reviews if it's not gonna if you're not gonna watch the video because that's like me pouring my money down the drain when I don't really need them because you know I would be getting them to review them for the channel so I was already interested in this in this dove so that's why I was like okay I'm gonna do it so that's gonna be my deal with y'all that will show me that you would want to see that this video, get it to 500 likes if you want me to review the new Olay body washes. Because they're the only ones that I've seen quite a, 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 like a lot of new ones come out. You know, other, other brands have put out like one or two cents for spring, summer coming up. But Dove, you know, they dropped this whole line and then Olay dropped a whole new line and then some more fragrances for spring, summer. So... That's the deal, y'all. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of the new Dove body washes and the new pre-cleanse body butter. I would love to hear y'all thoughts on this. And please share this video with everyone who loves hygiene and to try out new products as much as we all do. And please turn on your notification bell so you won't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.